Hello, welcome to the November edition of Husky TV. Your news source for what's happening at MRHS. My name is Colin Hayward. And I'm Miranda Allen. Husky TV starts now. now. we didn't have an October show, we have the perfect news story to honor the spirit of Halloween. Here's Amanda with the top spookiest places in New Jersey. Are you ready for some spook? Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to Husky TV's top spookiest picks. Let's take a look. Number one, Rose Hill Cemetery. Located on Ravine Drive in Aberdeen, Rose Hill Cemetery has been named one of the most haunted cemeteries in New Jersey. Historically, not only are government officials and soldiers buried there, but the bodies of the Lake Matawan shark attack victims lie there as well. Eyewitness reports range from apparitions and orbs in pictures to spirit attachment and audio recordings from the spirits there. Number two. The Spy House. Also known as the Seabrook Wilson House, the Spy House resides at 119 Port Monmouth Road in Middletown. During the Revolutionary War, the house was originally used as a tavern where British redcoats would spend their time. The tavern keepers were known to pass information they'd heard from intoxicated soldiers over to the American Revolutionaries, earning the name Spy House. A place with so much historical significance tends to hold some kind of spiritual energy. Visitors to the landmark often report seeing items move positions and ghostly apparitions in and around the grounds of the homestead. Number 3. Allaire's Haunted House Located in the Pine Barrens, many visitors reported strange experiences while visiting this once thriving community. One of the most prominent ghosts is Hal Allaire, the youngest son of James Allaire, a businessman who created this small area. Hal died in 1901 at the age of 54 and is rumored to haunt the establishment to this day. He is said to be playing tricks on customers, moving books and other household objects, and playing with candles. And those are our top spookiest picks. If you don't believe us, you could go there and experience the spook for yourself. Brandon, can you pass me the butter? Are you kidding me? We don't use butter around here! We use this! Wow! I can't believe it's not butter! Uh, what the hell? Oh my gosh, it's WWE Superstar Sim Cara! Puny man! You cannot face me! Bread! Oh my favorite! Mm. That bread is so good! Wow, that butter on there is pretty amazing! What do you mean this is not real butter? Wow! I can't believe it's not butter! Now, a question from our audience. Thank you, Sin. I'm an undecided dairy product user. What can I cannot believe it's not butter do for me? Hi, Billy Mays here, and I can't believe it's not butter, and neither should you. And here's why. They can make your whole breakfast. They can take out your trash. They can even drive your car. Earn it now for only 1995. Plus shipping and handling the local trash in area. Let's turn it over to our friend, Marco Guglia. 
Guagriglia, 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 Mark Guagriglia for Mark on the street. Finally! There we go. Hi, I'm Mark Grigley, and today I'm going to walk around our school and asking people what they think a cornucopia is. It's the little fruit basket Thanksgiving, but we want to see how many people know that. Let's go see. Do you know what a cornucopia is? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It's like that basket thing with fruit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Do you know what a cornucopia is? Yes. It's a basket of plentiful fruits and vegetables. No. Nice. No. Nice try. No. Damn. No. Sorry. Hmm. No. Why? Because I don't know what Thanksgiving is. So. But it sounds like you know what it is. Isn't it that basket thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's the so best. why'd you say no? Because I was nervous you'd yell at me. Do you happen to know what a cornucopia is? I do. Yes. I do. I do. You don't know what a cornucopia is? I, I know what it is. Do you? Yes. Explain. No. It's like this weird cornucopia thing for Thanksgiving. I sure do. What is it? It is a basket full of fruit. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Do you want the long story or the short story? The short story. Short story, it's a long bat, looks like a, it's a horn from an animal, and it's supposed to supply an unlimited supply of food coming from it. Do you happen to know what a uh, cornucopia is? Isn't it like that thing with like corn and it's like a display? <laughs> yes. Okay. This way. Do you happen to know what a cornucopia is? Well, yes, I do. Explain. It's a little thing that you put food in. Exactly. It's the thing, it's like the basket-like shaped cone that all the food goes in on Thanksgiving. It's where the Hunger Games starts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And now let's go to myself with a new story that's very dramatic. <laughs> Get it? Because it's all about the fall drama? Oh, who am I kidding? Roll the clip. You may think that autumn is a season for football and leaves changing color, but the fall drama gives a whole new meaning to that. Hilarity abounds in this portrait of three couples successfully occupying a suite at the plaza in Plaza Suite. Today, we'll be talking to the cast and crew of the production, getting a look at the show inside and out. I play Jean McCormick, who is the secretary of Sam Nash, who's my boss, and we're having an affair. Um, and basically, it's just kind of a, I start a lot of uh, confrontation with his wife and um, my boss. And it's, yeah, so I'm basically, I basically start a lot of trouble within the plot of the play. We're gonna have rain on this set. Um, Mr. Wells and his uh, genius has decided uh, he's going to be able to make it rain on stage. Well, this character is a little bit more scandalous than uh, any other characters I've really played before. I've played the love interest, but this is kind of on another level, so I really have to try to dig deep and really try to like get that character analysis correct in order to really um, give the plot the the emphasis that it needs with, with like my, posi my position in the show. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Now back to Plaza Suite. Plaza Suite will be showcased in the Anne Hannah Auditorium from December 1st through December 4th. For Husky TV, this is Miranda Allen signing out and as always, stay classy, Madeline. Guys, guys, you're up next. I wasn't even in this to be trouble opening your locker? Just put your combo in, open the locker, and hold your thumb on it, and stick the pencil in. Now your locker can open with ease. 
want to watch a video on your phone but your phone won't stand up, two binder clips can fix that problem. All you need to do is insert one into the other and there's your phone stand. Ever have trouble walking down the halls because no one knows to stay on the right side? Yo, come on, man. Well, here's a tip. The right side is the right side. Hi, I'm Mark Ruglia, and now for a student spotlight. This one's student is Paolo Macalino, a student with a passion for fashion that transcends on his blog, Paolo Paradox. So my fashion blog is called um, paloparadox.com. Basically what I do is I take the fashion inspiration that I see around me and I see from other people and I feature it online on my blog. Um, and the purpose of that is because I want to show people, I want to prove that um, fashion inspiration can come from anyone and anywhere. It's not just me. It's not just a fashion model. Every regular day person can uh, you know, provide some really good fashion inspiration for anybody, and that's really the point of the blog and why I do it. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next month. Stay classy, Madawan. See you guys later in December. Santa's coming. Ho, ho, ho. Bye. Jingle bells. Bye.